Hello everyone! Today's video would be in memory of this special February 22nd in 2022. I will be sharing with you my typical day as a biomedical engineering grad student in the USA. This special well, day starts with heavy snow and crazy wind as you could probably hear. Not so bad, huh? But I am heavily dressed to fight my way to school as well. First, I'll have to walk to the bus stop, which is 3 blocks away, but in winter days, it feels like 30 blocks. Sometimes I just can't believe that I even survived in this city for 2 years without a car and just getting to places by once every hour bus transit. The bus ride is about 20 minutes and now I am in the school area. Wow, this wind is just crazy. Okay, now I have arrived in my department and I'm looking out from the window here. See this wind. My graduate project is about making artificial vascular tissue for clinically ready transplantation. I start today with preparing materials, making solutions, which will be later used to electrospin. This is the setup for electrospinning. It can produce very thin fibers. An analogy to a spider web. From making solution to the final product, this can take up to a whole morning. Okay, now I'm ready to take a break and have my lunch. I am having curry chicken and a mix of veggie for lunch today. Okay, back to work. This is our open lab space. I am now planning to use SEM to look at how the fibers look like. First, I will have to coat my scaffold with gold. Yeah, you didn't hear it wrong. It's real gold. Now you know why scientific research is so expensive. Some of our department microscopes take up to half a million. Wow. Well, back to the topic. Now I am trying to place my sample into the microscope chamber and then I'm closing the chamber. Now I'm ready to look at it with uh, this software. I'm still trying to set up the microscope so this would be how the final image would look like using SEM. Wow, impressive right? You can see each fiber. After SEM, now I'm trying to set up this mechanical tester for the mechanical test, as you could predict. All of these instruments look pretty complicated, right? I spent quite a bit of time in the beginning learning how to use them and just try practicing all the time and until you master it. Then it's just repeating the mundane steps after that. I think I have been pretty on track with my planning today. I've got a lot done and I am now so ready to be back to my warm apartment and enjoy some snacks. Three more blocks until I am home. Today is brutally cold. A cup of chai milk tea and cookies just calmed my soul so much after the brutal wind. February in South Dakota isn't the best. But one more week until March. I am literally so excited for that. I'm gonna read a bit and relax before dinner. This is the best part of my day actually having a small self-care ritual after a long school day.
Okay, now I'm ready to eat. Today I am having noodle soup with pork. Um, this looks kind of like udon thick, but it's actually rice noodle. And everything is pretty much left over. I just have to reheat this and um, uh, make the rice noodle uh, today. But that's pretty much it. It's a really simple dinner that I usually have for weekdays when I get back from school. Uh, I'm really tired and I don't really want to spend the energy to cook a full meal. So basically I just um, reheat my leftover and have a simple meal. And usually when I eat, I like to watch uh, food videos that kind of make my food better while I'm watching other people eat. It's probably weird, but okay. If you're wondering how a biomedical student typically spends her day, or wondering how grad school life is like, well, this is a sneak peek of it. I hope your day is well spent, and please like the video so that more people like you could discover these contents. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!